Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my second update in my second round of the Partners in Cream project pan that was created by Steph and Dylan here on YouTube. I will have both of their channels linked down below as well as all of the other information regarding this project, including the playlist, all the things that you would need to all the things that you would need to know will be linked down in the description box. So if you're interested in seeing my progress on this update, including three products we will be rolling out, stay tuned for us if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you love project painting content or you just like to chit chat about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's get into this update. All right, you guys, if you are new to this project, like I mentioned in the introduction, this project was created by Steph and Delin, and the whole idea about this project is just that we're working on our cream and liquid products, no powder products allowed. Obviously, we all know that makeup expires, and typically our cream and liquids are expiring quicker, so just a project focused on getting makeup that's likely going to expire the quickest out of our collection. Like I said, I do have three products that I am going to be rolling out, which I'm super excited about. This project, you could choose anywhere from four to six products to be working on at any given given time and I decided to work on six products so half of the products that I've been working on we are rolling out today I will put weight changes over on the side here as well as progress pictures I have not reweighed my products yet this morning uh, but I'm trying to film before I bring my daughter to school so I'll weigh them later and put weight changes here so let's start with the products that will not be rolling out and at first I have this primer from Tarte this is the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. This is a really nice hydrating primer. However, I am not looking for a primer that's solely hydrating, so this is not something that I could see myself repurchasing in the future. When I rolled this in, we were way down here. Last update, I was up here, and now we are all the way up here. So we have made really, really good progress. I will say there have been some mornings that I have just used this as my primer, or yeah, obviously my primer. This is my um, hydrator, my moisturizer when I am just like really in a rush. So I've been getting good use out of it that way. That's kind of how I get use out of hydrating primers. Like if it's just a hydrating primer, sometimes I will swap it out as my morning time moisturizer to try and get use out of it. I love primers. I love testing new primers. So the quicker I can get primers that aren't working for me or just aren't my favorite out of my collection, the better. I feel like I could have this done by the next update or be really, really close if I'm looking at like my previous progress based on what I have left. It'll be really, really close if I use it the same way that I have been. So hoping that we'll be able to move this one out by the next update. Next up, we have my Kaja Air Heart Lipstick. This is what this looks like. It is a really beautiful shade. It's just this really beautiful, like, cool-toned pink kind of shade. I like this. I like the shade, but this is just not a formula that lasts on your lips. I do still have quite a bit of this left, and I have been using this some days as a cream blush. I actually have it as a cream blush today underneath my Hourglass Mood Exposure. By the way, I am going to be wearing a mask after, like, I'm going... <laughs> To drop my daughter off at school and then going to run some errands so i'm wearing a mask after filming this and i was like a pretty lazy with the way i was doing my makeup today it might look a little bit muddy ah some days i will use this as a cream blush and i think it's a really pretty cream blush i didn't make as much progress as i thought i was going to because i used this quite a few times i felt like as a cream blush since the last update and I feel like progress was very, very minimal. So I do still feel like we have a ways to go with one, with this one. But my goal is to finish this up by, or to finish this up within this project. And then I'm also a little bit disappointed in myself for my use on my Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Cake Shake. So this is what this looks like. I haven't taken the stop route, although I think I'm getting close to being able to take the stop route. I do really like this shade. It's just a really beautiful, neutral gloss shade i personally am a person that is a fan of the fenty gloss bomb and my goal this year throughout this project is just to continue to roll in and roll out different shades of my fenty gloss bombs i have a lot of the minis because i have purchased both holiday sets the last two years my dog is like sloofing around if you can hear him he's annoying me um 
So I am hoping to take this stopper out, but I feel like this could still be lingering for like two more months. But I need to finish this up because I have some really pretty pink shades I would love to pull out for the spring, summer, and get use out of. But we're just not there yet with this one. All right, moving on to the three products that I have hit my goal on. So I also want to just rotate through my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow collection throughout this project. So I'm just trying to hit pan on every Super Shock in my collection. Here is this one. This came out in the Wildflower the Sunflower collection. This is in the shade Flower Child. I obviously did focus my brush kind of in the center there. I've been using this a lot as an inner corner highlight. And we do have a pan on this one, which is really, really exciting. ColourPop Super Shocks, if you focus your brush in the same area, are really not that hard to hit pan on. It probably took me seven or eight uses in the same spot to hit pan on this. This is a really beautiful shade. One that I definitely will circle back to to use uh, just because it's this really beautiful champagne shade very very easy to use both on the inner corner on the lid whatever it might be but I am ready to put this one back and roll in a new one that doesn't have a pan on it to hopefully hit pan on I also finished up my Wander Beauty liquid shadow. I am really proud of myself for this one because I finished up an entire liquid shadow. So I did take the stopper out of this one and there's still some product coating the walls, but I hope you'll be able to see like all of the gaps. And honestly, like I'm good with calling this. Like there's really, I don't know if you'll be able to see inside, but there's really like, with the exception of some like dry crusty product on the side, this is pretty much done. This was a really beautiful shade as well. It was this really beautiful, like, purpley, periwinkle gray. They call it, they call it, the shade is called Dove Gray. Um, I thought it was really beautiful. I love to pair it with mop tone looks. Like, I could have used it as a base under the look that I have today. Um, I didn't, but I could have. And I thought this was beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of liquid shadows, so this is not something I personally would repurchase. I believe I got this in a boxy charm. But of all the cream shadows I have used, or all the cream shadow formulas, I think this would be my favorite. I thought it was really nice. So if you like cream shadows, the Wander Beauty ones might be one to check out. And then the final product I have is my RMS Beauty Living Luminizer Glow Quad. And I half hit my goal on this. So my goal was to hit pan on this shade as well as this shade up here. I hope you'll be able to see that I do have a pan on this shade and I'm maybe one or two uses away from pan on here, but this is something that I would reach for organically even if it wasn't in a project. I just love this cream shadow formula. So I've decided that I'm going to roll this out and roll something else in its place maybe that I don't reach for as organically as I would this. I know I'll reach for this a ton in the summer. I have raved about this quad. I said when I finish these two shades specifically I will purchase this in the full size just because I love this so much. I've even started to use the bronzer topper and I really like that so I'm just going to roll this out because I know I'll reach for it anyway. So that brings me to the three products we will be replacing in this project. Up first, I have the ColourPop Super Shock that I'm going to be replacing my other one with. So this one comes from their Wild Child collection, and this is in the shade Run Wild. This is really new to my collection. I have reached for this shade a couple of times already. It's a really beautiful bronzy shade, something that I can wear every day to work. I can use this as a one shadow and done. I can use this um, obviously on the lid with other shadows. It's a beautiful, very wearable shade. And I also think it's going to pair really nicely with the cream shadow that I'm going to be rolling in. So I'm really excited to get use out of this. I feel like with just a little bit of effort, I could definitely have this one rolled out by the next update. So the cream shadow I'm going to roll in to replace that Wander Beauty shadow is this one from Natasha Denona. This is in the shade Infra Nude, and I just do not reach for this organically. I don't know why I bought this, um, but it is this duochrome shade, and it shifts from like a green. I don't know if the green's going to pick up. It's like almost a lime green. It's not picking up on camera. Uh, but if it hits the light right, it is this beautiful lime green. I love green. And then it is like this reddish pinkish shade. And I feel like over top of this uh, Super Shock shadow or even the Super Shock laid on top could be a really beautiful combo. In fact, I want to put it on top of the Super Shock and see. I don't know if you'll be able to see the change. It's very, it still remains like pretty similar, but just a little bit toned down over top the Super Shock. 
very beautiful i'm just gonna give myself a usage goal with this and i'm gonna give myself a usage goal of 20 times 20 times is gonna be a stretch for me i feel like this will take me at least three months to hit that 20 uses because i'll have to i'll have to wear this i'll have to do a test run to work and see how i feel with this on my eyes and feel see if i feel like it if it's too much if people are commenting like do you have green eyeshadow on um we'll see but i'm gonna give myself a goal of reaching for this 20 times i do not reach for this at all unless it's well it hasn't been in a project i know i won't reach for this unless it's in a project so that's my goal there and then to replace my living luminizer quad i did i decided to go with a cream slash liquid blush instead of a highlight and i am rolling in my daniel sander sandler i can't speak this morning watercolor blush in the shade nectar this is a very 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 neutral blush very easy to reach for and the formula is really easy to work with as well i just feel like this will be a really beautiful like spring coral shade and i don't know what i want my goal with this one to be yet I think maybe I'll give myself the goal to use this 25 times and then we'll see where we're at in terms of usage on this. Like, are we halfway done with it? Should my goal then be to try and finish this up this year? I would like to finish up a couple of blush products this year. Uh, I think I'll be able to finish up two powder blushes because I was so close to being done with them and they were minis. But I would also love to finish up at least one, if not two cream slash liquid blushes this year. So I'm gonna start with the goal of reaching for this 25 times, but that may change into me just wanting to finish this up. We'll just have to see how it goes, but I am really excited to reach for that. That'll layer super nicely. Very beautiful, like no makeup makeup look. Like if I, I've started to go to the gym a little bit more, so this could be like a good gym blush shade, even though I cover it up with a mask anyway. You know what? I wear the makeup for me, not for uh, anyone else. Anyway, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's update. I would love to know, have you recently panned any cream or liquid products or what cream or liquid products within your collection are you currently working on? I can't wait to watch everyone else's updates. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch my update, for supporting my channel, for all of your love and kindness all the time. I love you guys so much, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.